get that spirit up off of you. You're a people pleaser. Get it. Look, you better, you better renounce some things. You better repent some things. All right. Because Ahab did more to uh, provoke the Lord and the God of Israel to anger than all of the kings of Israel before him. So you know why he did that? Because he allowed a Jezebelic Ahab. He was an Israelite. He was a Hebrew. And he married this Phoenician witch. You're an Israelite. You're a, a child of Judah. You're whoever, whatever your race is. And you become, you come into a demonic alliance with Jezebel. Hmm. Hmm. Do you think God likes that? You think God likes when, when, when his children hook up with a Jezebel? Oh, because they told you God hates divorce. So you think that you think that God, you've made an idol out of marriage. You've made an idol out of marriage. And you think that God's grace, you think that God loves marriage so much. Actually, you think that God loves marriage more than you. Don't you know God will tear this place up about you? But see, you come into agreement with a lie. And so if you think that God sent you a narcissist and now you're bound to this narcissist for the rest of your life, you are deceived. You are deceived. And I, I encourage you to go to Holy Spirit because God will never send you a narcissist, but the devil will. All right. So this was an unholy alliance between Jezebel and Ahab. It was never so. It was an unholy, ungodly, demonic relationship. It was an unholy alliance. But see, that's what happens when you marry, uh, you're on Ahab and you marry a Jezebel. It is an unholy alliance. And that's what narcissistic parents are. It is an unholy alliance. Do you hear me? That's exactly what it is. So when you realize that you have narcissistic parents, now the foundation has to be removed. So that's why your life is getting shook up like a snow globe. When you come into the awakening that you have narcissistic parents, that you might have some narc juice in your life, upon your spirit, your world has to get shooken up because the foundation of that thing was not of God. Do you hear me? So when you are in a narcissistic relationship, you falsely think that you can be in a three core strand with God and the devil. Uh-huh. You are deceived. You are deceived. You've, you've come into agreement with the lie. But when you, like most of us in these comments, when you come out of agreement with the lie, then God will release you from Pharaoh. God will release you from Jezebel. And you have to be released. See, Jezebel, when you have a spirit of Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel is not a regular spirit. It's not a regular demonic spirit. Do you want, listen to me when I say this? It is not a regular spirit. It is not like any other spirit because it is a ruling and reigning principality. And this is why you don't just walk away from a narcissist. See, God has to deliver you from Jezebel. God has to deliver you because it is a reigning, ruling principality. Jezebel was a queen. She was over the land. Do you hear me? So when you come into agreement with that, you are placing yourself under submission to an evil, demonic queen spirit. Do you understand me? So this is why this spirit, this is a reprobate spirit. Narcissists don't change. I have people, oh, my narcissist changed. Oh, my narcissist went through deliverance. Well, will your narcissist maintain that deliverance? It's one thing to, to be delivered. You can, I can stay on this line and, and demons come out of you and spirits come out of you through the power of the, the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit. And then you can turn right back around and open the door back to the demonic realm. Do you understand me? So it's one thing. Some of y'all have been delivered from demons, but you keep opening the door for them to come back. And if you give them access, they're coming back. If you don't clean your life up, if you don't walk this thing out, if you don't put on your armor every day, do you hear me? You'll return to the demons because your spirit is not guarded. 
because you're still somewhere in you. You're still hoping and waiting and wishing for the narcissist or the narcissistic parent to love you, to see your value, to see your worth. Oh, so God has to go in there. He comes in there like with a bulldozer, whatever that thing is come. And he's coming in there. He's tearing your foundation up because it was on rocky ground. We're born into this system. We're born into a narcissistic Jezebelic system. So yeah, your world got to get shook up, baby girl. Stop thinking everything is a punishment. It has to get shaken up in order for God to release you and remove you and, and prepare you for his kingdom. You're in the wrong kingdom right now. So God has to transfer, transform you from the inside out. This, this is why it starts in the mind. Satan works in the soul realm, the mind, the will, and the emotions. So then you learn. Then God shows you how to cast down those strongholds. So then what the narcissist parent says to you, it can no longer penetrate my, you, you, it can't penetrate me, boo. It doesn't matter what my narcissistic family says about me. I'm flying so high they can't touch me. God's anointing is up on me now. It's up on me. So what you say about me, I don't believe it because now I know that you're a liar. You're, you have no truth in you. So why would you believe a liar? That doesn't make sense to me. I'd be like, you believe what the narcissist, the narcissist said, I'm never going to do this. The narcissist, and you believe that? I'd be like, sis, you believe that? You know, my causes. I'd be like, you believe that? No, the narcissist said, you... You came into agreement with that? Oh, well, you might want to come out of agreement with that. You might want, that's where we can start there. So you can remove those strongholds that are set up and fortified in your mind. Do you hear me? So the foundation has to be removed because it was built on rocky ground. Anything not rooted in God, if your relationship, <laughs> that's why it had to, that's why it was never going to work. And you have Ahabs trying to, make it work they're self-sacrificing their life to stay in a, a demonic covenant with jezebel because they love jezebel more than they love themselves and they're submitted and narcissistic parents do the same thing they've made an unholy alliance and they've come together and they created children out of this demonic uh relationship out of this demonic covenant and that's why we as children we have to tear down their altars or you can continue going on like, like um, Jezebel and Ahab's kids did, you know. You can continue on. You can continue on in your mother's witchcraft and your father's sorcery. You can continue on in, in, in his warlock, you know, in his culture. You can continue on in their sage and smudging and doing all the things that you're bowing down to Buddha and, and Islam and Muhammad and whatever God, false God, your culture has given you. You can continue on in your witchcraft. You can continue on in it. But for those of us who are chosen, for those of us who choose to do something other than what our narcissistic parents told us, we, we have to tear down those altars. And in order to tear down altars, God has to take you through a process. And some of y'all keep trying to bypass the process. You want to bypass the process so bad. You want everybody to come save you. Ain't nobody coming to save you. Like Solomon said, I'm not coming to save you. He's not coming to